So my name is Denis Halbeck. I work for Atta Fire. Uh, Atta Fire is an American company. Uh, I'm a fire safety engineer uh, and uh, I'm here as a third party reviewer uh, on site. So in this scenario, our EPT batter is uh, trying to simulate the worst case scenario possible. Uh, and uh, with this purpose, we, they are uh, using the, uh, the latest state-of-the-art standards, such as UL95408 and uh, CS800. So we are using a combination uh, of, of both standards uh, to make sure that uh, the most strict procedures are being used. In my experience, I think the site was uh, prepared in a very professional manner, according to the state-of-the-art of the latest standards and uh, I've been uh, very happy to see that everything is done as uh, supposed to. From what I can tell, the infrastructure is uh, completely compliant with the testing procedure, so uh, we will see how it performs. I think the most technical challenge probably is uh, making sure that the whole is uh, set up as it's supposed to, and then making sure that uh, the, the ignition is sustained. And then we'll see if uh, the fire uh, will spread or not to the, the neighboring containers, but I'm sure they won't. Our EPTC Batero seems to have a very qualitative product, so we will see now from the test how, uh, how they perform. I think this is fundamental to drive this technology uh, forward into the future. And uh, it's very, uh, very good to see that uh, also uh, these tests are performed, uh, taking into account the environmental concerns. So the, the smoke is being uh, extracted and then washed after to the process. I think, uh, well, China is leading the way in battery safety. And uh, I think these tests are uh, fundamental to show that uh, they can be used in a safe manner and uh, again taking into account environmental concerns that are also part of, uh, of this.